Hey guys, my name is Ryan. For the next 30 days, I'm going to give you some actually useful tips for use in After Effects. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a fake stop motion effect, which I use to give my videos a cool, choppy, old school style and look. If you'd like an exclusive discount for my full blown After Effects course, check out the description below. That being said, let's go. So the first thing we need to do is just animate with a position keyframe. So I'm just going to scroll through and on the side here I've just got a picture of my head. Um, yeah, which is probably not the first thing you want to see in the morning. Well, I don't know. Um, I guess it's down to choice. So what we'll do here is we'll just animate my face. So I'll just hit a position keyframe on, uh, we'll go one second in. I'm just going to press P, hit a keyframe pos for position. And then I'm going to go back to the start of the timeline. I'm just going to drag myself down. Then I'm going to hit spacebar. And you can see that I just go up like this, really kind of in a linear, flat sort of motion. So then all I need to do is I need to click Alt and hit the position keyframe uh, to bring up the expressions menu. And we're going to type post, which brings up posterized time. So you can just type post, and that will come up by default. And press Enter. And when you click, sorry, my keyboard my microphone is more sensitive than a five-year-old version of me you hit posterize time and the brackets come up and then all you do this drops the frame rate to whatever number we put in here so I'm gonna just put eight and now when I click off you can see nothing happens because I need to go underneath I need to press enter after the eight and type value and then we click off and it just means the value is going to be whatever the keyframes are they're going to be down to eight so posterize time the new frame rate and then value underneath and then just click off and there we go we've got that kind of stop motion effect now if we want to give it that like consistent jigger uh jigger if we want to give it that consistent wiggle well, guess what we do? We just make another line under value by clicking the same thing. By the way, if you've lost this, all you do is uh, just press P to drop down the, you can see that the, the position is red, which means there's an expression on it. So when you drop this down, you can see the expression. Uh, we'll just click next to value, press enter again, and then we'll type wiggle and open brackets. Now the first number is how many times in a second you want the wiggle, so I'm going to put five, and then you can put comma, and the second number is how far do you want it to wiggle, you know, in like pixels, and I'm just going to put two. So now, every five seconds is wiggling two pixels in a random direction, but it's also only wiggling at eight frames per second. So like, say we make this a bit bigger, let's put ten, you can really see the choppy sort of effect that you've got there and now here's a magical bonus tip for you if you want to apply this to something else let's say uh, we animate Ryan out the way so I'll just hit another keyframe here go to three seconds and bring me over here suppose we want to add these expressions to something else all I do suppose I uh, let's type welcome here let's not suppose let's actually do it how's that um, so let's type welcome here and then all I've got to do, maybe I'll get me, me out of the way a little bit by clicking that keyframe and moving myself over. So all I've got to do here is I've just got to press P. Uh, I'm going to go to my wiggling expression filled clip and I'm going to copy expression only. Then I'm going to click position on welcome and I'm going to press control and V and that's going to paste the expression. And now if you have a look, Well, I'll trim that down so it appears here. They both have that sort of uh, cartoony, I don't really know what it is. It's kind of like a back in the day when uh, films were jittery, apparently. I don't know. I don't know, were they? Let me know in the comments. Were films really jittery? Am I wiggling too much? Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said at the start, I have a full-blown After Effects course, and it's less than uh, going out for dinner. So... That's in the link in the description below. Stay tuned, subscribe if you want, and you'll get notified about the video tomorrow, which I have to go and think about. So that being said, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.